This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Netflix. It's time for a new sci-fi TV show by Steven Spielberg. We check out Falling Skies. everybody, we are back with TV and we are going to be talking about the highly anticipated Alien Invasion series from producer Steven Spielberg, Falling Skies. It's coming out on TNT this Sunday, so set your TiVo boxes. Two hour premiere event. Yep, set your TiVo boxes. So this is created by Robert Rodat, who wrote that. Uh, also was the writer on uh, The Patriot, Mel Gibson movie, uh, Saving Private Ryan, and Fly Away Home. Which is very, what? And, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did that. He wrote that. Yeah, he yeah. wrote that. Yeah, I know. Okay. He wrote that. He wrote that. It's a movie. Yeah. Uh, it stars it's Two Noah of them are very Wiley. apropos. One of yeah. them, from not, which one of these things? Not like I don't know. Movies. This is a very homeward bound adventure. Yes. Father, there's son flying. Stuff. It's true. It's true. Uh, there's flying. There's flying and aliens. falling. Yeah. Uh, so. The Falling Skies follows uh, the father, Noah Wiley, uh, who is plopped down in the middle of an alien invasion, and he is part of a um, group of resistance fighters and civilians trying to survive uh, in this horrible uh, post-alien invasion world. Um, he's, a, he's a professor of military mm -hmm. history, which sort yes. of makes him... Uh, a leader type because he knows the history of yes, battles. Yes, exactamundo. Um, and so you get that sort of ragtag team trying to survive against all odds uh, feel. Now we saw the first uh, two episodes. I think maybe you saw three? I saw the first four. First four yeah. episodes, okay. I don't remember how far you got, yeah. but we've seen the pilot. Daniel Trachtenberg, was your sky falling? Or did the floor fall from your face? I don't know what that means. Let's see what you say. Or is it just um, Chicken Little? Yeah. Right. Uh. <laughs> wow. I Dan's going to do this no, one so in excited. character. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to bump it. The <laughs> whole floor. Um, <laughs> Hit it up, This man. show, like uh, when we were, the other day we were talking about X-Men First Class, was a mixed bag for me. Mm -hmm. Show, also a very mixed bag. I feel that like this is a very well-written show. Uh, I don't think it's as well-realized. Mm. Because you, I, what what I like about it, the writing specifically, is that you feel the. Um, first of all, I love the idea of this this our lead character being a history teacher and being able to call upon. You know, it, it, we're talking about aliens, but he's able, able to reference the way. You know, as the good book says, we, we ain't done with the past. The past, the past ain't done with us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like history constantly repeats itself. And talking about uh, Spartans and all the exactly. different wars where a smaller force, you know. And that being the informing factor in this war against aliens is super cool. But and I like in theoretically on paper Noah Wiley, but for some reason. He's not winning me over. In fact, all the cast isn't really winning me over. But I love the writing because the writing, like I mentioned with the, this history professor as our lead character, but also when they're discussing the missions of what, what they're going to do, whether they have to have a reconnaissance mission to find this thing or that thing or whatever, I don't want to spoil anything. But like, it's all written in very, um, it, it's written very, what I think, true to life. I mean, I feel yeah. like it's, it, it's almost as if, you know, I'm sure Robert Rodat knows a lot about World War II and, and many wars and included his knowledge of military actions uh, and just swapped out Nazis or ger whatever it is with aliens. And that, I can, you can sort of feel that underneath everything. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, and there are some cool action scenes. In fact, there's a really cool special effect with when the aliens, there's two kinds of aliens. Well, I, we shouldn't spoil anything, but there's well, a cool special effect. I'm scared about spoilers in this. I know that I know that we should not be spoiling anything for anyone, but I, there's a special effect when the, when the alien has this like weapon where it's like sort of a laser that's spread out and then as it gets close on a person, it like, it's almost like honed the Predator in on them, yeah. had the three dots that would it like would loan in. But they were just three dots on a person. Right. These are like if they come together, they shoot you and then they had to go out. I'm like, yeah. And a video game would have a thing like that. Oh, and that right. was at lent for a great suspense. I don't know that the show totally capitalized on that, but yeah. I loved the idea of that. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> and you gonna keep watching? Um, like I said, I watched 
a couple episodes beyond the pilot. It doesn't. It didn't really get crazy good yeah. for me yeah. enough to want okay. to watch more. Jeffrey Ganada. Yeah, you know, um, I agree with a lot of what you said, Dan. Uh, it's. Um, it feels like I really want to like it, and I'm. I'm. I keep rooting for it, and it. It feels like it's got some elements that could coalesce later on in the in the series. That first hour uh, of of the two hour season premiere. I was really going, sitting back and going, oh boy, oh boy. Noah Weil, I'm, I'm a big fan of the first few seasons of, of uh, ER. I think he's great, I'm a fan of his. I didn't buy for a second that he was the father of that guy. No, oh, yeah, not for a kid. second. Weird yeah. age thing. Like yeah, that. weird age thing and there's no chemistry between them and it just didn't, didn't, they didn't feel like father and son ever at any point. There's a, a moment where they like fight each other and it's like, I'm your father. It's like none of that came across as being real at all. And so I was like, oh boy, oh boy. The second hour, Sat, sat forward and get, w full of more hope for the show, chiefly because the actor who played the head of the the antagonistic sort of chaotic good rebel rouser guys mm -hmm. entered the picture, and he just livens the entire thing up. And I think it speaks to what exactly what you said is the material there is good and interesting and fun, and for whatever reason, the execution isn't there. When, when you see an actor come in and really chew scenery and, and do a great job, and man, he was just charismatic and fun to watch, and that's the thing maybe, and I think I'm just hitting upon it now, is he was fun. And a lot of these the characters in this show are playing that sort of morose, like, oh, it's, this is, everything's really hard, and oh, the world is so hard. And when you get a character in there who's like, yeah, the best thing that ever happened was the aliens coming, and we're, I'm like, now I'm having fun with this show, and I really, I thought it just brought a whole new life to things. Yeah. Um, so I think there's potential for the material. Yeah. I just, I'm not completely invested yet. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with both of you guys. I think this sort of is, is, um, falls prey to television-itis, which is, this is a great idea, written very well, it's shot like TV, and shot like pre-Battlestar TV. You know what I mean? Like, we, we have TV now that makes TV like this. Like, in the 80s, this would have been mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. The problem is that we've now had these amazingly well-produced and well-executed, basically, movies every week, that we see that that shows like this that don't get the sort of moviness of it really stand out. There were a lot of like very setty places that just felt like sets. Everybody felt like they were wearing like I, this is gonna sound really weird, but like his gloves. They looked like brand new gloves that somebody went and distressed rather than gloves that have been through something. You know what I mean? And I those are like mi small points, but they add up to just not really believing anything that's going on. Um, you know, I, I didn't really care for any of the characters. What was happening just didn't, it, 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 it felt like I was watching a filmed staged pl stage play of actors in their rags that were created for the stage play walking down the street sad, rather than seeing those people having that experience. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I was really, I was really disappointed with it. I mean, I, again, it's one of those things. I love the idea. I want to see a survival s story of characters that I be that I d desire to win about alien invasions, yeah. and I just don't think this is it for me. I'm going to keep watching it because I think, with y like you, there are moments that are glimpses of uh the bigger, you know, the bigger thing. You know, are they going to be able to figure out the little lines? Um, you know, when they said, like, we need to figure out how to kill them better. Yeah. Little things like that make me go, oh, my God. And, and they have, like, they're, like, scientists are working on this thing in their group. That's what I want to see. I want to see them get these skills and understand them more. You and might, then that whole thing. You might enjoy the next couple episodes. Dig into, because there's another thing. There's another way these aliens are dealing with humans yes. that we yeah, yeah, yeah. talk about. They dig into more of that. They dig that's into the more stuff that of that I found stuff. way more interesting. Yeah. I mean, and that's why I say I'm going to keep watching it. I wasn't blown away as much as I wanted to with the, the two-hour pilot, but I think it's worth keeping watching in the sort of same way that I feel like shows that, that I, I want to exist. Yeah, you know it's what I mean? true sci-fi on television, unlike a lot of these sort of halfway sci-fi shows. Yeah. It, this is embracing its sci-fi. It, yeah. it is as much sci-fi as Battlestar Galactica or any, any oh, yeah. Star Trek or any of these other and it's real sci-fi shows. And it's on TNT, which is also really great because if it succeeds here, that opens up all of these other networks 
you know, to potentially having really rich, hardcore sci-fi yeah. uh, stories. So do I, check it out. I also give them credit for doing both CG and practical mm -hmm. effects. Yes, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's tough on a week-to-week sci-fi yeah. thing, especially with alien type things. Yeah. Anyway, Falling Skies out this weekend. Check it out on TNT. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for all the outtakes from the craziness that happens behind the scenes here at the Totally Rad Show. But first, we want to thank our sponsor, Daniel Trachtenberg. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix delivers movies and TV shows directly to your eye holes oh, instantly. Via your it's house. It basically saves you money <laughs> and hassle because now there's no more due dates. Nope. There's no more late fees. Nope. All those things that were costing me money all the time. Yep. Uh, as a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes, mm. movies, stream directly to your PC or Mac, or on your television set through your Xbox, your PS3, or your Nintendo Wii. Uh, so you can watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. No late fees yep. or due dates, I as I it. said. Love it. Brilliant. Uh, so, as a new member and a TRS viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go what? to Netflix.com slash TRS and that. sign up now. Amazing. People, have a great weekend, and we shall see you three Yanas from today. <laughs> three Yanas. Theoretically, no. Well, like, no, that was, yes, that's I'm saying, but pair it down to the experience. Oh my god, you just scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. The way you just looked, like next to me, I felt like there was a serial killer. Like, literally. No, there's no logic for that split second. That was horrifying. Oh, that was so horrifying. Oh my god. Um, what's happening? We should put up a technical difficulty kitten. Yeah. The way you just that looked. That was behind amazing. Me, I was like, what is happening behind it me? It could be aliens. Just, just it could be aliens. Aliens. If it's a serial killer, I'm gonna react differently. Than okay. that. Just for future reference. Good, that's good to, good to know. <laughs> What if I do this? Hey, there you go. Keep looking at your marks, everybody. On your marks. Get set. Go. On your marks. Boom. Get set. <laughs> Boom. Go. Yeah. I only know this <laughs> If I actually saw an episode of that, I would be so disappointed that it you doesn't never... go. Bam. Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, it does. It does. All right, here we go. Oh my god. What are we at? Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, they're all uh, 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 that, yeah. But, 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 but.